we have shifted from the old model a conscious shift teaching is okay finished it's the student has to learn now the added advantage in the current generation is the students are focused they know what they want to do you have to only channelize their energy in this last 40 years a teacher i have not been teaching but i have been learning every day from my students i wouldn't say we have been different i would always say the campus has been growing i would always say and that would be for any stream of education give freedom to the students they know the best and they will excel Hello and welcome to the show Skill Tree Education Evangelist of India part by Great Place to Study. Mitro came cho. Well, the show format has not changed, it is just that today we have a very special guest who hails from Gujarat. He is a popular dental surgeon with over 3 decades of teaching experience. His work includes 15 national and international publications. Currently, he is serving as a Vice Chancellor of Karnavati University. By combining his unparalleled knowledge of academics and experience of seamless administration, he has ensured that the university reaches new heights. Let us not waste more time and welcome the man himself, Dr. Deepak Shishu. Hi Deepak ji, Hello. on the show, thank you so much for coming and uh, talking to us about Karnavati University. So first question to you is about you actually, I understand you are the Vice Chancellor of the university now, but uh, this is not your original job, you are actually a dentist by profession originally? That is perfect, that is yeah. right. So, why do not you tell me about your journey, how it started and how you became an educationist as you are today? So, it is a long story to put it in a simple few sentences, not taking much of your time Chetan. I graduated in dentistry, that is way back in 1980. Okay. Took up teaching as a profession by choice. Did my post graduation a subject which is basically a medical subject and not a dental subject. Okay. Went on teaching, as luck would have it, left government job, entered private sector in 2005, 2007, became a part of this campus, but continued my teaching and research. I have been an active research worker. I still am a part of my research cell here. But as an administrator, I don't know how I became an administrator, but gradually I became an administrator in this campus. We began with the dental college in 2005. 100 students, that is all. And gradually, we went on adding colleges. First was business school, then design, then law, then became a university in 2017. Then added liberal arts. This year launched mass communication, that is okay. But I even myself do not know when I actually became an administrator. Okay. Because I still see myself as an academic, as a research worker, and I would like to be known by that more than by being a vice chancellor of this university because I got so much love from this profession from my students, I would not like to lose that. That's interesting. Actually, speaking of uh, Karnavati University, which you are saying it became a university in 2017, so it is obviously a lot of changes in the past few years, but where is it today? So, you have uh, of course a design school, uh, correct me if I am wrong, maybe you can just tell all the things so currently are, that are being offered. We offer dental surgery, we offer management, we offer design, we offer law, we offer liberal arts and we offer mass communication from undergraduate till doctorate level. Okay. And how many students right now? Approximately 4000 out of which nearly 1700 students would be staying on campus. Wow. And these students are from across the country, all over the country, a oh. cross section of the country. Okay. You know, I, I obviously visit a lot of campuses as, as a motivational speaker and Something unique about uh, when I just entered, yeah. uh, you know, your university was that these beautiful structures, okay. you know, yeah. installed. Uh, so many wonderful installations. In fact, I posted on social media. And so there was one with a lot of books, uh, those yeah. rocks. rocks yes. So I put, took a picture there. Uh, some masks, beautiful, very artistic expressions running through the college. 
um, they, are they from the design school or I mean what, what is all that? Uh, Basically these are some of the creations of our design students. Oh, they are all student yeah, made? They are student made, maybe guided by their teachers but students and we are trying to showcase them. Whichever we find good, we showcase them maybe in the public spaces, maybe in the college buildings, maybe in the academic area, but they are all student centric. They are being prepared, conceptualized by the students, guided by their teachers, I agree. But basically students thought process, his dreams, and that is how he has executed it. So These are all students. You know, you, 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 you've gone to dental school yourself, yeah, but Running a creative school is very different, like you know, teaching creativity to people or bringing out the creativity in people. So how does uh, it differ, frankly, for people who don't know the difference and how do you make sure that, you know, you become a place where you actually become a hub of creativity in your design school? As luck would have it, I come from dentistry, which is defined as an art and science. Its first sentence is art, then is science. So for me, that art part wasn't new. I have gone through the same phase and now the added advantage in the current generations is the students are focused, they know what they want to do. You have to only channelize their energy. Yeah. You don't teach them now, you have to see that they learn it and give them a free hand. They will come up with beautiful things, their expressions, their interpretation may be entirely different from yours, that doesn't matter. But they could be right. And you have to just give them a free hand and you have the results. You have seen it yourself. Yeah. No, no, it's definitely beautiful and different. And that expression is there all through the campus. It's in the entire campus. You will feel that vibrancy. You will feel that difference. It is not the run of the mill campus. No, no. And hats off to all the students. It is their work which we are displaying. And we are giving them the freedom to do whatever they want. You could have probably seen one car also there. Yes. It was our car which we were going to sell off. They said, we will use it and look what a creative work that is. Yeah. So we don't mind it. It is there ultimately. Creativity comes out of this. Give a free hand. Yeah. In fact, I have something on the screen to show you related to that. Education is power. Power to create, to change, to evolve, to empower. Your pursuit for empowerment begins here at Karnavati University. Anchored to the belief excellence through education, we are an ecosystem committed to developing a holistic you. We are beyond books, often reading between lines, imparting through experience, not just four walls, but open minds, reinventing the wheel, fostering intellect, a universe of our own, a home away from home. Here we care, here we share. Insane innovators, fans of crazy ideas, sincere about fun while we playfully learn. Compassion, our compass, giving back, spreading smiles. We are Karnavati University. Okay. You know, uh, for UID, how do you define the pedagogy? What are the stated goals and, you know, for the design school? So, for the design school per se, when you say specifically, we have shifted from the old model, a conscious shift, teaching is okay, finished. It's the student has to learn now. We just teach him the basics, rest he has to express himself, we give him a free hand, you have to guide him now. You don't teach, you don't force him the way it was in my days. Okay, the basics remain the same, otherwise now things have changed. You have so design, 10 years back was only fashion design. And anyone, you say I'm a designer, so you would see, okay, some Interior severe design, fashion, oh, fashion design. design, two branches, period. No, it is now visual communications, it is animation and graphics, it is lifestyle accessories, it is product design. So, the whole field, the whole sphere is a different thing. Say, mobile, which we use daily, we don't understand that even that has a product designer. How thick how bulky a mobile should be, what features, how it is designed by a program. Okay, the programming is by the software, but the designing would be by a designer. He would be a product designer. Everything, even this mug would be from some designer's thoughts. Design today is everywhere. Our life is surrounded by design. Only thing is we take things for granted and therefore we don't look at it that way. That's the only problem. Yes. 
but then apart from design you have things which are some would say is very different a law school yes which again is uh, uh, at least trying to be impactful and different i understand that uh, you know on section 377 which has been in the news it was decriminalized and it's a sensitive topic but united world school of law has taken certain steps towards spreading awareness on yeah. section 377 so can you just talk throw some light on that look uh, we i wouldn't say we have been different i would always say the campus has been proactive i would use the word proactive and given the students the freedom to express themselves and this was an effort in that direction say before we began this we already had a collaboration with unicef we all still have it on child rights with district legal authority we are the only legal aid center in the district of gandhinagar and we are the only law school which trains all paralegal volunteers of the state so we have already been doing that and it so happened that we had manvendra singh goel on our campus in one of the programs what we call at conversations at ku and after the thing was over i just put forward a request that instead of having a one off lecture and then forgetting for a year can we have it as part of our curriculum can we put it as a part of our curriculum he was good enough to say yes and we latched on to it 2018 was the first module 2019 we have the second module this year we have done with it and now taking a step forward we want to have a permanent chair in this field we want to establish a chair now it is just to make it easy for everyone to be aware of himself or herself as he or she is it's not only legalities it is to give our students the choice or the decision they should not be afraid or ashamed of something so it's education it is legal education agreed but it is also the freedom of choice and coming to which might be your favorite because your dental college which is also quite famous now and uh, congratulations on that but thank you talk to me about the achievements of your dental college well this has been the first institute as i said so because we are old so people know us that's that that's the oh, there's a there's a first thing there was nothing in this campus except the dental college but then over a period of time we established ourselves we took steps basic was content delivery having the clinical input seeing that the patients you have you have the choices the faculty we took all steps and ultimately what it has led to is today this school has two patent applications filed already if that wasn't enough one of the products conceptualized and designed by one of the faculty of our college that has been commercially taken over by a fortune 500 company and now now they market and sell that product so wow. the research the concept was in house but some faculty did it patents they are jointly between students and our faculty and i am sure those would be accepted in a matter of time if that wasn't enough we took it a step forward we went into a public private partnership mode with amdavad municipal corporation they have their health centers but there are no dental health centers we asked them for space and we have set up their dental clinics and we run the cent dental clinics for them today we have such five centers with amc and that has all added up to give us a different space and different league say in last 3 years we have been constantly ranked by both india today and outlook in their annual rankings and we are the only college in the state of gujarat to be in that ranking that is the biggest certificate we could have got and i think since 2017 we have an agreement with university of pelotas there's a state university in brazil which funds all our research activities of our students and faculty also so that impetus to research is an added advantage and that is taking us places Excellent. my last question sir you are now in stem non stem uh, i like to know when it comes to your non stem student liberal arts students you know how do you shape them basically i have experienced that uh, this demarcation is gradually getting there's no such demarcation gradually there's a lot of overlap science is a part of humanities becoming humanities becoming philosophy psychology there is a merger you can't 
just simply compartmentalize it. And secondly, you yourself have witnessed the campus. The legacy of dental college has not pulled down any of our other programs, which are none of them is from the STEM side. Law, design, it hasn't. In fact, it has helped us, I would say. And most importantly, we are offering a liberal arts program where you can have a choice of subjects as per your convenience, what you feel you are comfortable with it. Say, I, if I don't like physics, I may not take physics. I may just take chemistry or something else. I may take economics also, if I were a science. Liberal arts, I don't like Engl economics, forget it. Psychology and phys I can take philosophy. You have got a choice. So that gives a student ample opportunity to show his acumen, to show his creativity. And he can club it with subjects of mass communication also take a part of it and mass communication that is a field which I think has the maximum potential and where you can have the maximum creativity. I would always say and that would be for any stream of education give freedom to the students. They know the best and they will excel. Give them the liberty. We have got this habit that I know the best because I am old. No. Give them the freedom they will give you the best and on that principle let me tell you in this last 40 years as a teacher i have not been teaching but i have been learning every day from my students Excellent. that's a wonderful note to end on thank you so much for having my this pleasure. conversation my pleasure one more thing in yes. the end we just take a picture over there as a tradition and sure. as a memory so if you'd come with me to the picture wall it was indeed a very inspiring session with dr deepak shishu of Karnavati University. The insights given by him are truly marvelous. I'd especially like to thank Karnavati University for hosting us and letting us use their wonderful campus for this show. Thank you, sir. And thank you everyone at Karnavati University for all their hospitality. This is me, Chetan Bhagat, signing off for today. Keep watching Skill Tree Education Evangelist of India, powered by Great Place to Study, now streaming on ForbesIndia.com.